So what's going on guys, my name's Chopper, and it's been a little bit since we've talked about a Hytale update, but recently Simon, the head of the development of Hytale, has done a Q&A which answers a lot of questions that fans are having, and uh, we can get an insight onto the development of Hytale, and then when we're going to actually get our hands on the game. So before we jump into the information today, if you guys could spare a second to drop a like on the video, that would be absolutely incredible. If you're excited for Hytale, then a like rating would be appreciated, and of course subscribe if you are brand new around here, so you don't miss out on any Hytale updates. And with that stuff out of the way guys, let's get into into this information. So these questions come from a Q&A that Simon was on and it was for Autcraft, which is a server for kids. So basically some of the questions are not going to be hard hitting per se. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to exclude the questions that weren't necessarily related to Hytale at all. And uh, were just kind of irrelevant. So we're going to get rid of those. But a lot of the information that is about Hytale is pretty interesting. So the first question is this, will Hytale have floating islands? Basically, they're asking, well, how is gravity going to work in this game? And the answer that Simon gives is really interesting. He says, yes, there is gravity in Hytale. It's actually configurable by server. So for example, you could have a world where the gravity is like the moon. And this is absolutely a huge deal because this means that within every single server, you can basically take apart the game to where you can open up the game so much to its very core where you can change one of the most fundamental things, which is gravity. And you can make it either really, really high gravity where people cannot get off the ground or extremely low gravity where every time you jump, you go 50 feet into the air. You know what I mean? And this is all customizable by your own server. Now, the thing about this answer is that it didn't really cover what the actual question was because it doesn't, you know, get into detail about how that affects blocks. That's actually going to be a little bit later. But to me, the way I look at it is you can take this answer in a more broader sense and you can see the things like gravity and just the most fundamental basic elements of video games are going to be able to be tweaked to your liking. Now, the next question about Hytale is a pretty good one. They say, what are your plans for integrating different social platforms with Hytale? Will there be native account linking or will devs have to have plugins slash mods to do so? And Simon's answer is this. When it comes to account linking for Hytale and social platforms, we are still in talks with some people, but nothing concrete yet. When it comes to social features for Hytale, we actually have friends lists and such. We also got YouTube and Twitch working in game, but they're not social features. Now to me, the question of this was way more interesting than the answer that Simon gave, because in my opinion, it is a really big deal about how Hytale in integrates different, like, you know, creator social platforms, because the way that Twitch and YouTube is nowadays, I think it's fundamental to the success of this game. And the, you know, the easier that it's integrated for creators to have their social medias on here and co and connect with other creators, the more successful this game is going to be. And the answer that Simon gave is basically like, yeah, we've been in talks with some people, but nothing is confirmed yet. But I imagine they're probably speaking with companies in order to get this sort of thing sorted out as quickly as possible, because I, I think they know just as well as we do that, you know, social media integration is just as important for the success of the game as like the quality. Now, the next question is a quick follow-up to the first one about the gravity, how that works, and, and how it affects blocks. They wanted to know basically specifically what things are affected by gravity and what are not, and Noxie answers this question, and he says, generally some, but not all. Trees, for example, will collapse in a big explosion type of effect when you break the trunk, but we wouldn't want to see other things fall. This sounds a lot like he's getting at it's the rules of gravity, how it works in Minecraft, except without exactly alluding to that, but it would probably end up being the same thing. Now, the next question is regarding some in-game mechanics of things in Hytale, and somebody asked what about redstone. Basically, is there going to be a logic-based mechanic that you can use to build creative things in Hytale? And unfortunately, for this question, they say we can't answer that question in this chat. But this is basically an answer of omission, if you ask me. The answer to this question is essentially yes, there are indeed logic-based mechanics, but we can't spoil them right now. We don't want to tell you what they are in order to avoid spoiling any part of a game. And I can completely respect that answer and then not wanting to talk about it too much. But at least we have kind of like a like a wink-wink idea that yes, there are some things like redstone in Hytale. Now this next question is kind of general, but it's pretty intriguing the answer that Noxie gives. Somebody asked what? how did you come up with the idea for Hytale? And Noxie pretty much says this. We realized we had reached the limits of what Minecraft would let us do, and the entire team wanted to keep working together, so it became clear to make our own game. Now here's the thing is like, I think it says a lot about the ambition of what they want this Hytale project to be if they feel like they've reached the limits of what they can do with Minecraft because Minecraft might be one of the most sandboxy and, and expansive games just as far as like your creative knowledge goes and you can do almost anything you want in this game literally anything with mods when it comes to that stuff but if they feel like they've reached limits with Minecraft and so they needed to expand and make their own game then clearly they have some absolutely mind-blowing stuff that's coming up so the next question is is Hytale going to focus more on the creative or PVE aspect of the game whatever you would like to call it or is it going to focus on more of the PvP and competitive side of the game and so the answer to this is basically these two concepts are not mutually exclusive meaning that 
you need both of these to work as well as possible for Hytale to work as a fully functioning unified game. And I completely agree with this answer. I think it needs to have a very healthy aspect of the PvP if it wants to stay alive just beyond the creative build of the game. Otherwise, you know, it can fall into obscurity, but it also needs to have a super expansive way to play as creatively as you would like to. Next question is a pretty quick one. Somebody asks, is there ever going to be virtual reality for Hytale? And the answer right now is in the short term, no, they, there's no plans for it. But long term, who knows? But here's the thing. I, I really don't see this happening. And especially just recently, I feel like VR is kind of on its way out. I, I never kind of felt like it would catch fire or really get into the mainstream. And that seems to be coming true. For whatever reason, I, I don't see VR ever becoming like the next big trend for gaming, at least in its current form right now. If it wants to get into mainstream gaming media, like VR is just not really going to hold a candle. It's such like a niche thing that you need to be very interested in VR to go for it. But uh, as, yeah, as its current form right now, I don't see Hytale ever coming to VR, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too bothered by that. Now, the next question regards to the gameplay once again, and this is basically, is the terrain going to be editable through mods? So essentially like to clarify the question, will you be able to change things such as the trees, grass height, and small items like that? Just the, the way that the environment is built and put together. And the answer to this question is actually yes, but mods are not required. So in, in Minecraft, clearly when you want to change these environmental like features, then you need a mod to be able to pull off things like that. But in Hytale, it's natively editable and you can do these things within the build of the game. You don't need to use anything external to get that. And again, this is a really big feature for the game as well, because not only is it confined to these environmental changes, but it seems like you're going to be able to take apart literally everything of the game and customize it to your liking without having to use any external websites. I think that was one of the hardest things about Minecraft and, and getting to play some of the cooler aspects of the game or just some of the more creative people and, and the projects that they put together is that mods for, you know, for the common person are pretty complicated to install, at least complicated in comparison to how you install external content on other games. It's not very straightforward how to get everything on Minecraft, uh, like externally. And so hopefully they're streamlining everything in game and it's going to be a lot easier for each player to play whatever they like. Now, this next question, I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to want to know the answer to, and this is a pretty hot button issue that somebody asked, how much will Hytale cost? And Simon says, we don't know yet. We're making, we're focused on making a good game first. And we talked about this in uh, my last Hytale video. We discussed different business models that they could have for Hytale, whether it's going to be free to play, so, like sort of how most games are doing it nowadays, or if it's going to be a paid model, like how pretty much video games have always been. And don't get me wrong, there certainly is an argument to be made on both sides, whether it is a free to play model or it's paid just as a base game. There are, you know, advantages and disadvantages to both. But from what I would say that's coming out of Simon's answer here is that it is probably going to be like a one-time flat fee paid model, but I am also appreciative that they're just worried about making the game as good as possible first before trying to put a price tag on. Now, the last two questions, in my opinion, are some of the most intriguing ones out of this entire Q&A. And so this question is, will you be able to host your own servers in Hytale? And the answer to this is just straight up yes. Every single person will be able to host their own server. And this is really good news in my opinion as well, because one of the biggest like stumbling blocks for a lot of games is that custom games are only available to a very specific number of people, or it's extremely hard to get them to work. But again, this question just goes to show Hytale's dedication to make the game as accessible for every player as possible, regardless of what system they're running, regardless of how they like to play the game and uh, or what kind of player they are. And now the final question is the one that I think all of us want to know most. And somebody asked about it and they say, is there an estimated date on release of Hytale or the beta? And Simon says to this, unfortunately, we don't have an estimated date. Even Noxie and I don't know. What we know for sure is that we want to make the game sure that it's ready. It could take time, but this is our first game and we want to make it right. We have the right people supporting us and an amazing community as well. Now, believe me, I get why a lot of people don't like this as an answer because it sounds like kind of a cop out and it seems like they're not really doing too much to work on this game and get it out as quickly as possible. But what you got to understand is that there's probably a lot of investors that are into this game right now and helping fund this entire project. And so when investors are involved, then the information about when this is going to be come out is not very like they can't be lackadaisical about it. And listen, I am just as ready and anxious for this game as you guys are. I cannot wait for it either. But the thing is, we cannot project our frustration onto the either developers of this game or content creators who are covering the game because that's not going to help anything. It's not going to make the game come out quicker. But unfortunately, right now, it seems to be the responsibility of content creators to keep the momentum going as they they have a lot of hype around the game. But the thing is, if they delay too long, then that momentum could come to a stop and it's much harder to get it rolling again than if they release the game as the momentum is already in motion. And so it, we're, we're basically trying to keep the hype going as long as possible and buy them time to get the game out. It's hard to say exactly when this game is going to release, but we know that it's not money that's an issue. We know it's not manpower that's really an issue. It's just a matter of getting the game to a quality where they're ready of releasing it. And at least 
we know we're at a point where they're ready to talk about the game in Q&A such as this, so it's probably pretty close to be done with production, or at least to a point where we can expect a beta soon or the full release of the game at some point. So I'm going to keep you guys updated on anything that comes out with Hytale's information. And again, just like you guys, I'm just as ready to jump into the game as you all are, and uh, I'm, I'm super excited as well. So all we can do at this point is have patience and, and you know, help Hytale guide its way into getting this game out as quickly as possible with as much quality as they possibly can. But I've got very high hopes for this game, and I absolutely cannot wait to play it. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating, and don't forget to subscribe if you are brand new to the channel so you don't miss out on anything like this as well. And I'll see you all in the next live stream or the next video. Take it easy, and peace out.